the freedom of it. I would say the freedom when you're on the field just playing. Not every rep you're gonna win is gonna be clean or perfect, but when you do win the rep, it's just the best feeling. I can't even explain it to you. I really couldn't. You just gotta cherish it no matter what, because you don't know how, you don't know when, you might not know why, but you have to cherish every single moment of it all. Defensive end Trey Smith doesn't take a single moment for granted, a lesson he's learned time and time again in his football journey. First time playing, I was five, and then there were some breaks in between here and there, but it was just the love for the game that my dad had, and he kind of passed it on to me. So football was always what I gravitated towards. Nothing else was fitting, really, to keep it blunt. Nothing else was working for me. Could you paint kind of a picture for us of what your childhood looked like growing up? Things were pretty good until I got to be in junior high school, I believe. And that's when I noticed, you know, as a kid, you're a little bit oblivious. You're kind of just living life, having fun. And then uh, you realize maybe things aren't as bad as they can be, but it's not perfect either. So I would say just money struggles was a, that was a large problem in my household. And it's a lot of what built me into who I am today. How do you feel like that did? I learned that a struggle is a blessing because the ability to persevere and endure and then, you know, feel like you're finally getting somewhere when you've been in the hole for so long, that is, that's a timeless lesson. And I would say definitely my dad made sure that we knew we had to work hard and just being the best person you could be every day for other people. A lesson that Trey carries with him through all aspects of life, including the field. So I started playing football again my junior year of high school. I started a little bit late in the season, and then I'm getting a little bit of talks from college coaches, and that's when I'm like, all right, I might actually have a chance to do this. So season goes on, I'm doing what I gotta do, and then lo and behold, I'm sitting where I wanna be. However, a global pandemic would cause him to question where exactly that was. Didn't know what was going on. I'm like, dog, I'm not going to school anymore. I don't know what's happening with anything. By that time, I'm like, guys, I, I'm not ready to leave. I wasn't in the right spot mentally. When that whole year was occurring, we didn't talk about football at all. We just talked about life and how things were. And, and I just say, stick to your faith and just take care of mom and dad. And, you know, when you're ready, uh, we'll be ready for you. I never thought I would say it in my life, but he's a second father figure to me. I mean, if you show him that you care and you want it, he will do anything in his power to help you get there. So what were you doing during your time off? The biggest thing was just trying to get my mentals right. Because at the time, I didn't realize how much I still loved the game. I thought it was slipping away, but it wasn't. But I uh, had to get right up here to be able to go out there and do what I needed to do. Back on the field the next fall, Trey made an immediate impact in the Spartans' D-line, posting some impressive stats and setting himself up to have an even bigger role his sophomore year. But once again, adversity struck. First play of the game, I got cut, tore my Achilles. And that was a lot for me. Now it was like, all right, the first time I almost threw it away, uh, now it's getting taken away. But he was determined to not let that happen. He was getting after it. Uh, with the workouts and he, he just, you know, did his work and uh, went to school, got great, good grades in school and, and just be excited about the opportunity that was in front of him. Fully healed and healthy for the 2023 season, Trey had a career best fall. And that following winter, he would move back to his home state of Arizona, where he would emerge as a leader on the Wildcats defense. Let's go, oh, let's go, baby, T up. What do you want them to take away from your story and what you've learned? I would say first and foremost, <clears throat> never give up. And then secondly, just be yourself. We don't all live the same lives and we're not, not everyone should want to be Trey Smith, you know? You should be the best version of yourself. And I'm just trying to be the best Trey Smith I can be because that's all I got. <laughs>